Hello, hello, hello! Have you ever noticed how many celebrations there are for the craziest things in Illinois? Welcome everyone to Stuck in the Kernfield, where we explore the oddities of living in the Midwest. Today, we're going to go over a few of the strangest festivals that can be found in Illinois. So, these are the top five strangest festivals. Number five, Arthur Amish Country Cheese Festival. Try saying that five times fast. The town of Arthur holds an annual cheese festival over Labor Day weekend. This is the heart of Amish country in Illinois, so they celebrate one of the products made by the Amish community. They could just as easily have gone with a homemade noodle or handcrafted kitchen cabinet festival, because those are also things that bring in revenue for this town. Highlights of the cheese festival include such offerings as the National Cheese Eating Championship, the Rat Race and Cheese Chase, the International Cheese Curling Championship, and a cheese carving contest. They also have vendors and live entertainment. Number four, International Horseradish Festival. This annual summer festival takes place in Collinsville at the beginning of June. Collinsville is the self-proclaimed horseradish capital of the world. According to people in the area, they produce 85% of the world's horseradish. The festival includes the usual events like a 5K run and a car show, but they have unique events added to the roster as well. Have you ever wanted to show off your mad bartending skills by participating in a Bloody Mary contest? Here's your chance! You can also compete in a root toss and cornhole competition, or even learn how to make your own horseradish. Number 3. Popeye's Picnic Chester, Illinois hosts Popeye's Picnic and Parade every year, the weekend after Labor Day. Chester was home to Popeye's creator, E.C. Seeger. He was born there back in 1894. Did you guys know that Popeye is known as the Iron Arm in Italy? I had no idea. Seeger debuted Olive Oil in 1919 in his comic strip, The Thimble Theater, but it wasn't until a decade later, in 1929, that Popeye entered the scene. Doesn't it seem like the picnic should be really named after Olive Oil if she came way before Popeye? Maybe that's just me. Anyway. In addition to the picnic, the town also unveils a new statue every year from the catalog of characters created by Seeker, so the town now has an entire character trail that can be followed. Number 2. White Squirrel Days Olney is home to the white squirrels. They're albinos, so in addition to their white fur, they also have pink eyes with blue irises, and they're not really sure how they came to be. They have two documented instances where white squirrels were found around 1902, and those seem to be the earliest sightings. For the last 42 years, the city of Olney has gathered volunteers to canvas the area and count how many albino squirrels they have. The 2019 count put them at only 40 white squirrels left. The city does everything it can to protect the white squirrels, so they have laws safeguarding them, and that includes granting them the right of way on roads and sidewalks. You can be fined up to $750 if you harm one of the squirrels. In addition to the squirrel count, there is also a parade as well as a 5k run and craft vendors to get your squirrel souvenirs on. Number 1. The Turkey Testicle Festival in Huntley. And I know that sounds fake, but I swear I am not making that one up. Just based on this alone, I would expect for Huntley to be in southern Illinois, but no, it's actually near Chicago. And unlike the other events on this list, this is an adult-only event, with the people turning out to eat turkey testicles and drink beer. They have live music, and the event typically runs from 11 a.m. until midnight. They've been holding the Turkey Testicle Festival since 1983, and I'm not sure how it began. It doesn't sound like my type of cuisine, but if you're the adventurous type, this festival happens every November. So that was the five strangest festivals in Illinois. Do you agree with these, or do you think I missed an even stranger one? Leave me a comment and let me know. Also, if you like this video, don't forget to hit the like button. If you really liked it, hit the subscribe button and bell icon so you get notifications when I put out a new video. Thanks for watching. Until next time, I remain stuck in the Kernfield.